Good afternoon, everybody. We are picking it back up in Isaiah, um, chapter 58 today, and God is still um, talking to us. So, chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a, a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God. They ask of me the ordinances of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. Wherefore have we fasted, say they, say they and thou seest not? Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast you find pleasure and exact all your labors. You're not um, serious about it. You're still working on the Sabbath when you're supposed to be resting and, and praising me. Chapter, verse 4. Behold, you fast for strife and debate, and to smite with the fist of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye do as ye do this day to make your voice to be heard on high. You're not doing it for the right reasons. You're, you're doing it for show. Is it such a fast that I have chosen? A day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a bulrush and to spread sackcloth and ashes under him? Will thou call this a fast and an acceptable day to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I have chosen? To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke? That's that's the fast that I, I want for you. Verse 7. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house, when thou seest the naked, that thou cover them, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh, from your family, from me, from your father. Verse 8, Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily. And that's um, Health is referring to the healing of wounds there. Or viruses. <laughs> and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy re reward which is the rear guard, backing you up. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and speaking vanity, and if thou draw thy soul to the hungry, and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise in obscurity, and thy darkness shall be as the noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee continually, and satisfy thy soul in drought, and make fat thy bones. And make fat here means to invigorate, invigorate you. And thou shalt be like a watered garden, and like a spring of water, whose waters fail not. And they that shall be of thee shall build the old waste places. Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call the Sabbath a delight, as it should be, the holy of the Lord honorable and shalt honor him not doing thine own ways nor finding thine own pleasure nor speaking thine own words I'm supposed to be speaking this word then shalt thy delight thyself in the Lord and I will cause thee to ride upon the high places of the earth and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. What a beautiful promise. I'm going to read that last verse one more time. Then shalt, thou then shalt thou delight thyself in the Lord, and I will cause thee to ride up upon the high places of the earth and feed thee with the heritage of Jacob thy father. 
That's a promise. You can take it to the bank and a beautiful one at that. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Love and blessings to you. That was the end of the chapter. And we will pick it up with chapter 59. 59? Yeah, 59 tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.